It's that sort of like powerlessness and internal struggle, I think, that is is the thing that really butts up against the 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 deeper philosophical and even spiritual questions of why can't we do what we intend? Why can't we go toward the good? So what's the answer? You're a doctor <laughs> studying this. What's the answer? Why can't we? When we know what we're doing is so destructive. Yeah, I think just opening up to the mystery is a really beautiful step. For me, I really wanted the answer when mm-hmm. I started out because I was about a year into recovery. I was relatively stable. I was in my medical training and I did what I always did, which is go to the medical literature and the scientific literature. And I thought, okay, sure, there's going to be some disagreement, but I'll find the theory of addiction that makes sense. But I didn't find one definitive theory. I found like 30 different theories of addiction. When I looked deeper, I the thinkers and the scholars and the researchers I really respected uh, kept on drawing beyond medicine. 